Hey yo, what's up, everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, so this video is a little bit different. This is actually a kind of like an unboxing and a review. Uh, I've been talking about getting a new headset for a little bit uh, for a while now, actually. This is a uh, like a forty or fifty dollar headset right here. It's Turtle Beach Recon One Hundred and Fifty, I think. Don't quote me on that. Uh, just picked up the new electric purple controller. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, but today we're gonna be talking about the new Turtle Beach. Atlas Elite or Elite Atlas headset. This is actually, um, I have opened it a little bit. I didn't want to go too far into it though. I have not tested it on the audio or the mic. We'll be doing the unboxing. We'll be talking about the mic quality, which I think for streamers with a headset, I mean, the sound quality has pretty much been perfected for the majority of all our headsets. But the biggest difference I notice in headsets is the mic quality. And for people like me and people like you out there probably who are trying to stream and and uh, want to build your YouTube channel or your Twitch channel, you want to have a good mic. And uh, I've had a lot of mics. I've had um, $15 cheapos. I've had Steel Series. I've had um, Astros. I've had um, Cloud Alphas. Uh, all of them, a, a lot of them. And the best ones typically with the mic quality surprisingly end up being some of the cheaper ones, right? I feel like this mic is pretty decent. It's okay, it's it's not bad. Uh, I've seen other reviews on this guy right here and the mic did sound really good. It sounded, in my opinion, better than this one, but that was just on somebody else's video. So I'll be testing it with my own and you know, if it works out, great, I'll keep it. If not, then I'll return it. This is um, 89, 99, 90 US dollars. I got it at Best Buy. Uh, you can find them at GameStop, Best Buy, online, whatever. Probably find them a little bit cheaper, maybe online. Uh, this is one of their newer headsets. And uh, it is a PC gaming, but it works for Xbox, PlayStation, all that stuff, right? So without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's check this bad boy out. And uh, here we go. So we'll slide this open here. Bam. So let's put this on down over here real fast. Here's the main box right here it's actually quite nice uh we're gonna just open this up i'm hoping it'll drop everything out but as you open it it opens up uh textbook style kind of right and as you open it here it has this little interior um little message from turtle beach elite atlas this is turtle beach uh the pursuit of perfection drives us here innovation is relentless and cutting edge is never enough. Our quest for competitive advantages become, or became the features you can't play without. Perfectly balanced. This is next generation audio wrapped in unprecedented comfort. Uh, the result of 40 years of audio advancements, Elite establishes a new standard echoes of our heritage, infused with radical innovations, ready to redefine your gaming audio. The headset was built for those who despise mediocrity. Together, we are Elite. So that's pretty cool, right? Another little clear, just to kind of keep everything, I guess, together or whatever. We'll set this down over here. The uh, It's very minimal. I like that it's very clean. This is what it looks like, right? And then everything else is going to be underneath the styrofoam. So first we'll pull the headset out. And one thing that I really like about the headset so far is that the mic and the 3... This is a wired headset. The mic and the 3.5 are both detachable. As you see, they're right there. The mic and the 3.5 cable are detachable. I love that. It's got a metal, uh, lightweight aluminum or whatever they have. Uh, top part. The ear cups feel really nice. I have already put it on once or twice. I haven't taken the plastic or the plastic or whatever. I haven't taken that off yet. But these right here, these will. This, this is just a magnetic little like. Um, uh, th there you go. These actually pop off, and you can customize these. Right, you can go to their website. And it's just magnetic. You can get different colors. It's got like, op I think Optic Gaming is sponsored with these or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Some customization. No big deal. I probably won't mess with it unless they have some really nice, cool stuff. Uh, but it feels good. It feels heavy duty. It feels, um, it's it's not too heavy, right? It's got a good, you know, kind of feel to it. I have put them on and I don't have a, a very big head, right? It's not like a huge head. These, I don't have to adjust at all. They go. I like my mics to fit a little bit more snug anyways. So it's got a good feel to it. We'll set those aside for just a moment. I a, sorry, this is not my main setup. It's kind of like just a, a temporary right now, so I apologize for that. So styrofoam comes out, right? And then inside, you have the rest of your product, right? 
You have a small box. You have some literature in there. So let's go ahead and check that out. It's got some silicate packets to absorb the moisture. But here is the box. This is going to contain your 3.5, your PC uh, audio cables as well as split cables, and the mic. And the mic is supposedly a new generation. Uh, here, this is looks what looks like to be the PC cables right here. We'll set that aside. I'm using the PlayStation, of course. Uh, this is the, actually this is the PC cable right here. So we'll get this guy back out. And then here is your mic. So again, I like it that everything is detachable because again, if something fails or breaks, you know, if the cable, the 3.5 gets uh, jacked up like this one, you can't detach. It's it's in there. So if this goes bad, the headset's done, right? The mic does pop out, so that's nice. But here's the mic right here. This is supposed to be some new like uh, crystal clear noise canceling. And again, the, there are other reviews I saw. It was supposedly um, pretty good quality. So. I don't want to make this video too long, so let me go ahead and just try and rip this open here and get right to it. So you guys, so we can test this out and compare it. But yeah, I've been really happy with the one that I have right now. Again, it's like it was like forty or fifty bucks, and I think the mic quality is all right. So here, it's a it's a rope braided cable. It has the inline uh, mute volume control as well. I bought a separate mute volume control for my actual controller. It's right here. So real quickly I can just, you know, go mute real fast with my thumb. I don't have to find the uh as you saw right there, so I couldn't even find it. I have to and then flick that. It's much better in my opinion uh, to have it closer to your hands down below in case somebody comes in, you know, pets going crazy, baby mama drama, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So let me get these damn bread ties off here. Little plastic ties. I hate these things, but they are necessity. Anyways, cable is uh, just long enough, not too long. What is it, about three foot, I guess? Yeah, that's about what it is. And the the end that has the mic that's shorter up, this is where it's actually going to go into the, uh, the headset itself, right? So we'll plug this in real quick. Make sure I have the right one. It's a little dark on my end. There we go. Oh, it also has the indicator too. So a headphone and then mic. That's cool. Very good. I like that. All right, that's plugged in. We'll get the mic in there as well. The mic is going in now. Let me go ahead and, hold on, before I plug the mic in, let me take the plastic off of the receiver. Now, this does not have a pop, or a, well, actually, no, it does. I'm sorry. It does. It has like a little built-in windscreen or pop filter. That's tight. You know, your windscreen is this guy right here, that little foam. And I think that all mics should have that. Uh, it kind of does have that. If you can see that, it's already kind of built. That's kind of cool. It's a, it's a wider tip. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I digress. Um, if you had to put a uh, filter over that, you could probably get it on. It just kind of, you know, you have to kind of cut it up a little bit, maybe distort it or whatever. All right, so let's get this on real fast. Sorry, my, my computer chair is a little squeaky. All right, that plugs in. And it is adjustable. It will adjust. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and um, the plastic's off that. I left the plastic on right here. I'm just weird like that for now. I'm going to unplug this mic. I'm going to continue this broadcast or this video with the new Elite Atlas or Atlas Elite, however you want to call it, right? So I'm going to unplug this real quick. All right, so there we go. Now, one thing I automatically notice is that the cable, the 3.5, is a straight up and in. It's like a, it's just a up and in, right? It doesn't, this guy right here, it's L-shaped. And that can be good for some applications, but for me personally, I don't like the L-shaped ones. I feel like it gets in the way. It wants to keep bending out like that. So that I already like. I didn't notice that before, but I do like that. Uh, the weight feels about the same. It feels snug. Again, I don't have to adjust it at all. And I have not heard the mic. I don't even know if the mic is actually working. I have to, uh, let me let me pause the video real quick. Okay, so I have it set up now. This is the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas. I want to focus on just the audio. I'll be switching back to the Turtle Beach Recon 150s. Again, the Elite Atlas costs $90, which is the one I'm using right now. The previous Turtle Beach headset I was using, which I'll switch to here in just a minute, is the Turtle Beach Recon 150s. Those are $40. And just from the initial sound, I still think that the Turtle Beach Recon 150s sound better overall with the mic. But sometimes mics need to break in a little bit, if that even makes sense. But uh, they just have to kind of, you know, get their get their rhythm, I guess, or whatever. So let's switch back to the Turtle Beach Recon 150s. 
All right, now we're back on the Turtle Beach Recon 150s, and I can tell just by switching back over to these, one thing that is different is that it feels like the Recon 150s do breathe better around the ears. I feel like the Turtle Beach uh, Elite Atlas, they kind of, uh, they were almost making my ears sweat a little bit because they were, it's just the way that the ear foam is. It's, it's, that, uh, it's a thicker type kind of ear foam where the Recon 150s tend to breathe a little bit better. And just from talking back and forth, you know, it, it does, I, I think the recons, maybe I'm just more used to them, I've had them longer, but they do feel a little bit more comfortable overall. So I don't think that, you know, if, I'm not sure if the, uh, the, the, the bigger price is actually worth it. I don't think the mic is that much better, if better at all. But let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what you think, which mic sounds better. Again, this is the, Turtle Beach Recon 150 for 40 bucks, and the Elite Atlas are $90, and you heard what they sounded like just a minute ago, so I do appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think. I wanted to check this out and see if it would uh, you know, be any better, but again, man, a lot of times, just the cheaper ones tend to be the better mics, uh, so I don't know. It's just weird like that, but the sound quality is pretty good on both of them. Again, I feel like the Recon 150s do breathe better with uh, you know being on your on your head and you know when you're gaming for several hours the last thing you want is your ears to be all weird and gross and sweaty you know what i mean so anyways comment down below let me know what you guys think i'm going to switch back over to the elite atlas to close out the video in just a few seconds here we go all right back over here to the elite atlas the turtle beach elite atlas for 90 dollars, 89.99 uh, i got these at best buy I do have a 14-day return policy, no restocking fees. So if I do want to switch out and uh, you know just get my money back and keep the ones that I have, I could you know definitely do that. So I'll probably keep these for a couple more days. Maybe put a uh, a windscreen or a little pop filter on the mic and see if that does anything different. And maybe just kind of do some comparisons. I'll probably watch this video back and forth a few times just to see what it sounds like. But I hope this helped out because I know a lot of people out there are trying to you know stream and become YouTubers and have a Twitch following and stuff like that and you want to you know it's hard a lot of this stuff is a really expensive right it's it's you know it, it's hard to figure this stuff out so i wanted to give you guys a uh as best of a guide as i could so i hope this helps out again let me know in the comments down below which one of you guys think is better uh, again, I do think that the Turtle Beach 150s are, even though they're cheaper, man, they feel a little bit more comfortable. They breathe better, I believe. Um, these, the Elite Atlas may be just a little too large, it's a little too big. If, if you have a larger head, though, I mean, this may be the, the better one for you. I do like the connector uh, that hooks up to the controller. It's a straight, you know, vertical in and out. It doesn't have that 90 degree angle like the Recon 150s. That's really the only thing that bugs me about the Recon 150s is that connector, which is a small price to pay, right? So anyways, again, I hope this uh, helps out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. And you guys stay dangerous. Right? See you next one. Peace out. Yeah.